Hello and welcome along on this journey outside of Kyoto to a city nearby with my wonderful Airbnb host, Masami-san. So Masami-san invited me along with her on her day off to go check out some of the beautiful fall foliage, which is a very huge pastime in especially Japan, but also a little bit in Korea. So she took me along in her car and I was very weirded out sitting on the left hand side of the seat while she was driving on the right hand side. Anyway, we drove a little over an hour and a half, mostly because of traffic, it would have been about an hour, and we just drove through the mountains that are surrounding Kyoto and then over into the area off to the western side of Kyoto. And Basically, the goal was to find this temple, which is known for having really, really gorgeous fall colors. We arrived in this unknown place. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. We came about an hour and a half to the east, east of Kyoto, to this place. Masami san drove us here. <laughs> Masami-san, her friend who was in town from Israel, and myself just wandered around for about an hour around this temple just taking pictures of leaves and trees and grass and everything and each other and it was just such a wonderful time. I thought it was stunningly gorgeous. <laughs> Masami-san kept saying over and over how she <laughs> wished we would have gone the week after because she thinks that more leaves would have fallen and it would have been more of a beautiful carpeted a situation for us to photograph but i thought it was fantastic just the way it was and i'm so appreciative to her for bringing me along with her this kind of adventure is not really something that's accessible to tourists very easily because it really required a car, it's not like there are buses, this is not a tourist destination. So I felt so happy to be doing something spontaneous and fun and local and getting to know these women and talking about travel and life and it just felt like the perfect backdrop to be having that kind of connection.
We then rounded out the day's adventures by going back to Masami-san's house with a little pit stop on the way at this rice cake <laughs> store that she loved and we all <laughs> had this um, mochi with a kinako soybean powder over the top <laughs> which she made very beautiful for me <laughs> so I could take a good picture of it and we just had tea and this treat and it was a beautiful end to a beautiful day. Thank you, Masami-san. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned. I still have a couple more Japan videos coming your way, so I will see you next time.